Hello everybody and welcome to a tropical update here. Uh, uh, what's currently going on in our tropics right now? You can see uh, what's left of what's left of tropical post tropical storm Kyle still going on here in the North Atlantic, uh, right about where my cursor is. Um, the remnants of it, um, and then we have uh, this what's now dissipated. Uh, what used to be a tropical storm, uh, Josephine, right now in the Atlantic that's been uh, destroyed. By wind shear at this point and that is just merely pretty much just a cluster of thunder showers and thunderstorms at this point in time here uh, from the looks of it and uh, we also have newly formed 97L also uh, that uh, I'm going to get into detail here in a little bit here and we also have another wave that uh, came off of Africa yesterday pretty much and um, has a decent chance of development as well as 97L and of course on the left hand side of your screen uh, you see what is now Tropical Storm Genevieve here po poised to uh, undergo some perhaps rapid intensification here in the next couple hours. And here's the Eastern Pacific view here and you can see Tropical Storm Fosto right there. And then what's now the remnants of uh, what used to be a uh, Tropical Depression 10E also going on there. Start off with uh, Josephine here. This is post tropical, well, not post tropical. This is the remnants of tropical storm. What used to be a tropical storm, just uh, Josephine here on uh, Go 16 Conus imagery, and you can see it's just pretty much merely only a uh, cluster of thunderstorms together. Um, at this point in time, I don't really see that much of a well defined circulation, if any, uh, still in there. So a good call by the National Hurricane Center to uh, designate this as no longer a named storm or depression. And then Tropical Depression 10E right there, you can see uh, it's now, of course, Post Tropical Depression 10E, never became FOSTO. Um, and you can see it tried to uh, fire off some convection around its center there, and uh, then after that point, it pretty much stopped doing that. So uh, good call again for the National Hurricane Center. This is the, for the last forecast cone for uh, the remnants of Josephine here um, as of the... 5 a.m. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time, Advisory 21 there. Again, uh, maximum sustained winds 35 miles per hour, moving west northwest at 12, uh, located at 20.9 degrees north, 65.8 degrees west. And it, of course, like I said, it has dissipated. And then post tropical storm, uh, post tropical cyclone, Kyle, of course, they could read the information. I'm not going to go over it, um, but I could read the information there, and it's been gone uh, for a while now as well. And here's tropical, what used to be tropical depression 10E here as well. And their last forecast cone for that storm as well. And you could, of course, stop the video right now and read all that if you want to. Um, and then here's, again, a look at uh, Kyle here, a close-up look at Kyle. Uh, what used to be a circulation right about where my cursor is. I tried to fire off some convection just to the east of the center and got pulled away due to some really high winds here that you could see streaking across from left to right here on your screen here. So hence, that's why it's... Uh, no longer a tropical storm or a tropical depression at this point in time. And here's tropical storm Fosto currently going on in the eastern Pacific here. You can see it's uh, been it fired off some uh, decent convection earlier uh, today, and now it's just been kind of on a waning trend here. Uh, the National Hurricane Center forecast Fosto to pretty much weaken from this point on to back into a tropical depression and eventually uh, dissipate over time in the next couple hours here. In fact, here's the latest cone for tropical storm Fosto here, as you can see, as of Sunday, August 16th, 2020 update as of 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Advisory 4. It uh, was currently located at 21.5 degrees north, 121.0 degrees west, and uh, maximum sustained one minute winds are at 40 miles per hour, moving to the northwest at 20 miles per hour. And this storm, of course, poses absolutely no threat to land whatsoever at this point in time. And uh, just for the sake of it, for looking at the forecast description, you can see. Um, they have it uh, dissipated, well not dissipating, but they have it weakened into a tropical depression storm in about 12 hours from now and then eventually uh, turn into a post-tropical storm or remnant low um, in about uh, 36 hours from now after this update. And here's the big one for the Eastern Pacific right now, the main storm to pay attention to. This is recently named Tropical Storm Genevieve. Last time they had the name Genevieve was used for was for that uh, storm that uh, went into the Central Pacific and uh, became a a uh, dangerous hurricane. Luckily, uh, stayed far away from land. Um, if you guys remember that, that was back in uh, 2014. If for those of you that were tracking back then, like I was, 
was the last time the name Genevieve was used, and now it's being used again for a, another potentially rapidly intensifying storm here, this time closer to land than the previous Genevieve was. Um, as you can see here, they forecast to become a major hurricane by 1 p.m. Tuesday, uh, Central Standard Time there. Um, and again, as of the latest updates, this is 4 p.m. Central Standard Time with version number 2. It's located at 12.2 degrees north, 99.2 degrees west. Maximum sustained one minute winds are at 45 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at 20 miles per hour. And um, so far, as of this latest cone, uh, Genevieve should stay far enough away from uh, Mexico. Uh, really, again, the only threat for uh, Genevieve would really be uh, probably some maybe increased tides by about a foot or two, and maybe a, a, a increased chance for rip currents here once uh, Genevieve gets going here. And again, like I said, it's forecast to undergo some uh, perhaps rapid intensification. And you can, of course, read. Um, the forecast description here, but I'm just note um, in 60 hours from this advisory, they have its peak as a 125 mile per hour high end category three hurricane on the South Simpson scale just off the coast of Mexico there. Um, and again, at this point in time, of course, this could of course change over time. It's uh, not forecast to make landfall of any sort on Mexico or Baja California coastline, fortunately. Um, but like I said, it will be a threat for uh, rip currents and maybe some increased tides by about a foot or two along the coastline of Mexico. So please use caution. Um, and just if you, if you uh, were planning on going to the beach, just try to um, be really cautious on where you are and aware of your surroundings and uh, um, try not to be in the water that much, if any. And going into the Atlantic Basin here, and actually, no, before I go into there, I want to show you, this is IR imagery of Tropical Storm Genevieve here, and you can see what I was talking to you about earlier, how this uh, storm has the potential to go under rapid intensification here. It has that classic look like it has, uh, like it has, uh, wants, it wants to uh, intensify here. You can see that classic banding around its center here, and the center of circulation is right about my cursor is getting more and more uh, well-defined with time here, so um, likely to undergo some rapid intensification of some sort uh, that the next 24 hours or so, 24, 36 hours or so before it starts to gradually weaken as it kind of parallels the Mexico coastline far enough away, but again, a, a rip current risk for them, is, of course. Now going to the Atlantic here, the main thing I want to talk to you guys about um, in Atlantic here in terms of uh, areas of interest here. We got that wave that came off of Africa yesterday right here. Uh, it, um, let's go ahead and read this here. Right, a tropical wave located over the far eastern tropical Atlantic well to the southeast of Cabo Verde Islands. It's producing... Excuse me. It's producing a large area of cloudiness and disorganized showers. The wave is forecast to move westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. During the next few days, environmental conditions are expected to become fit, conductive for the development of a tropical depression during the middle to later part of this week while the system moves across the central tropical Atlantic. Formation chance to the next 48 hours is a low, near 0% chance of formation, and formation chance to the next 5 days is a medium 50% chance. And then to the left of that one, disturbance number 1 here, uh, the main one to watch out at this point in time because it's closer to land at this point in time than the other one to the east that is. Uh, this one is also... This one's called uh, Invest 97L as well. And uh, I'll go ahead and read a little bit of it, of the information here. Shower and thunderstorm activity has continued to increase in association with a fast moving tropical wave located about 500 miles east of the Windward Islands. Disturbance is expected to move westward at about 20 miles per hour during the next few days. And that fast forward speed is likely to limit significant development while the system approaches the Windward and Southern Leeward Islands on Monday as it moves. Uh, in, uh, across the Eastern Caribbean Sea on Tuesday after that time. However, this system is expected to move more slowly westward across the Central and Western Caribbean Sea, where upper level winds could become more conductive for the development of, this of a tropical depression during the middle to later part of this week. Formation chance within the next 48 hours is a low 20% chance. Formation chance within the next 5 days is a medium 50% chance there. And this is the main thing to watch here. And again, the both of the discussions right here below the screen here. So you can stop the video right now and read that if you want to. And in terms of East the Pacific, in terms of area areas of interest here, um, there's no invests at this point in time. There's uh, only uh, one tropical depression and two tropical storms at this point in time for the East the Pacific. And then for the Central Pacific, we have one 
Air Adventures tier and Vest 9 DC because it's in the Central Pacific uh, here. Um, you can see Disturbance 1. Formation chance during the next 48 hours is a medium. 40% chance in formation chance within the next 5 days is a medium. 60% chance of formation. A little bit down than it was from earlier. It was at 70% chance during the next 5 days last uh, update, but now it's at 40% this update. So just something to watch here. Um, this one looks to be staying safely away from the Hawaiian Islands by the looks of it here. Fortunately. And then to get latest information on the tropics here, um, eventually when uh, uh, Invest 97L might potentially go up to the Gulf Coast here, um, a good website to use to get localized forecast if that happens here over time um, or the wave behind it over time is to go to the nationalwaterservice.com or just type nws.noaa.gov or just type nws.gov. Or just type NWS, and again, it'll be the first, should be the first result, whatever search browser, search engine you're using. And of course, you'll know that you're on a correct site when you see all this good information right in front of you here. Same goes for the National Hurricane Center, just type up nhc.noaa.gov, as you see on the top of your screen here, or just type nhc.gov, or just type nhc, and it'll probably be the first result, whatever search browser, search engine you're using. And of course, you'll know that you're on a correct site when you see all this information right in front of you on your fingertips here, readily available to you. Um, to protect your life and property here so please pay attention to the tropics here please pay attention to 91l especially here this is going to be the greatest threat i believe to land uh, at this point in time uh, at least atlantic wise here on uh, 97l um conditions are uh, forecast to be pretty conductive for development here as it starts to slow down as it enters the middle to western part of the Caribbean here, as the National Hurricane Center stated. Um, so this storm could easily develop into at least a tropical depression strength or maybe a tropical storm for a uh, tropical storm uh, strength storm here uh, over the next coming days here, over the next five days into uh, the later parts of uh, later part of, of next week here. So uh, keep an eye on it, of course. Uh, make sure you have your hurricane plan ready to go. This is a great time to look over your hurricane plan, this, your hurricane preparation plan at this point in time. If you haven't looked over it already, if you need to update anything or add anything new, um, now is a great time to do that. Make sure you have everything ready to go in case you need to evacuate in an event of a hurricane uh, threatening your area uh, that you're living along the coastline here. It's forecast to be a really brutal active season here um, in Atlantic Basin this year, so please be prepared for the worst here. Hope for the best, but expect uh, expect to the worst here um to happen here um i mean it's uh already we're already at the name uh if this storm gets named 97 l that i'm talking about here if this gets named it'll be called laura and uh, it'll surpass the previous record held by uh, both i think uh, tropical storm maria and uh tropical storm lee i want to say maria in 2005 and uh, lee in uh 2011 um when they both formed at the same time back in 2011 and 2005, I believe it was. Um, so that was past the previous record. If, if this does end up forming within the next five days, and uh, um, honestly, it looks like it uh, may easily quite happen here. So please be prepared. Make sure you have a hurricane plan ready to go. Um, make sure you have a way to get warnings and communications. Again, I showed you the two websites that I use here, National Hurricane Center, National Weather Service, and for satellite imagery, I use tropicaltidbits.com, and you could also use... Um, cyclonicwix.com as well it's a new website popping up here in fact i'll try to go back here and you can see all that good stuff all that good information here off of cyclonic wix uh run by alex here and you can see all this good information right here readily available at your fingertips here um easy to read menu here so hope everybody has a great day night you guys are stay safe of course um again make sure you have your hurricane preparations um, hurricane plan, I mean, uh, ready to go in case you do get threatened this year. And uh, this season is looking to be uh, forecast to be a, a brutal and active hurricane season. So please be prepared. Better be prepared uh, than be sorry when a storm goes near you and you're not prepared for it. So have a great have a great day. Network, guys, are stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys on the next video. Peace.